Introduction The Battle of Philippi in 42 BC marked the end of the civil war between Mark Antony, Octavian, and the leaders of Julius Caesar's assassination, Brutus and Cassius. The conflict arose from a long-standing feud between the Optimates and the Populares factions. The battle involved about 200,000 soldiers and took place in two engagements near Philippi, Macedonia. The Roman armies displayed poor discipline, coordination, and command experience. Although initially successful, Brutus was ultimately defeated after Cassius's suicide. Both leaders took their own lives, leaving Antony and Octavian in control of the Roman Republic. Background After Caesar's assassination, the liberators, led by Brutus and Cassius, controlled the eastern provinces while the Caesarian leaders, Antony and Octavian, formed the Second Triumvirate in Rome. Antony and Octavian moved their forces to Greece to defeat the liberators and avenge Caesar's death. The liberators aimed to defend and use their naval superiority to block the triumvirs' supply lines. The armies clashed near Philippi, with the liberators outflanking the triumvirs' forces. Brutus and Cassius fortified their positions, while Antony and Octavian positioned their legions nearby. The forces were roughly equal in strength, with about 80,000 foot soldiers and a significant cavalry presence on both sides. The battle would last for months, and the total numbers of troops were likely around 40,000 to 50,000 for each side. Battle Antony attempted to outflank the Liberator's defensive position but was noticed by Cassius, who countered with a transverse wall. This led to a general battle on October 3, 42 BC. Brutus successfully captured Octavian's camp, while Antony stormed Cassius's fortifications. The outcome of the battle was initially unclear due to the large battlefield and dust clouds. Cassius, believing he had suffered a defeat, ordered his own death. The battle ended in a draw. In the following weeks, Antony slowly advanced his forces while Brutus extended his line to avoid being outflanked. Brutus initially wanted to avoid open engagement and wait for naval superiority, but pressure from his officers and soldiers forced him to offer another battle. The second battle, on October 23, resulted in close combat between the well-trained veterans. The slaughter was brutal, with both sides engaged in face-to-face -face sword fights. Brutus initially had the advantage on the western end of the line, but his eastern flank was weaker due to being stretched thin. The triumvirs broke through and eventually surrounded Brutus's forces. Brutus's legions retreated and were unable to reform, leading to their defeat. Realizing capture was imminent, Brutus took his own life. The casualties for the second battle were significant but unreported. Aftermath After the battle, Antony showed respect to Brutus by covering his body with a purple garment. Many young Roman aristocrats died in the battle or committed suicide, while some surrendered and joined Antony's service. The remnants of the Liberator's army, about 14,000 men, were incorporated into the Triumvir's forces. Veterans were discharged or settled in Philippi, which became a Roman colony. Antony remained in the east while Octavian returned to Italy, facing the challenge of settling a large number of veterans. The Battle of Philippi marked the pinnacle of Antony's career, establishing him as the renowned general and senior member of the Second Triumvirate. With the defeat, the Republican resistance was effectively crushed.